You guys can't open it? No, we are. No. We're asking you what money came from the store. Just the hundred. Just the hundred is not the time inside here. Shoplifting is a serious crime. It may appear like a minor infraction, but business owners and the customers suffer the consequences of it. So, and then all the ladies in cosmetics are like, oh, they just took two bottles. From someone unable to accept that she was caught to someone going as far as to run from the police. Hey. Watch as these criminals are quickly apprehended by the cops. I did not take it! Don't do it. I did not take it out of the store! The incident revolves around a woman. On February 27th, 2022, in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, officers were called to a mall regarding a woman who stole expensive cologne from Saks. When officers caught up to her, she tried playing dumb and denied any allegations. The officers quickly located the woman and started inquiring about the incident. She immediately denied about the theft. The officer told her that they positively identified her. Hey, ma'am. Hey, got a second? I need to talk to you. Why? About Sanchez Avenue. What about it? I need, they say you took, stole something from them. I need, I need you to come with me. I'm gonna take you to the right now. I didn't take none out of that. Small ones. Come with me. I didn't take nothing out of that. I'm in Macy's right now. I didn't have to take nothing out of that. Okay, well, here's the deal. I'm gonna have their boss prevention come by. They positive identified you through the camera. Yeah, so but I didn't take anything. Okay. If you didn't take anything, nothing on your person, and you get cut loose, no worries, okay? okay. But it's on their camera. Can you step out here with me, please? Yeah. All right, just come with me, please. The officer began to ask about the perfume that was stolen. She claimed that she left the perfume. The officer explained that if she really did leave it, they could work something out. The woman, however, claimed that she did not do anything and had nothing to do with the perfume. You at Saks, right? Yes, I was there. And was the perfume that was taken from there? I didn't they have your camera. They don't have me taking anything because I left it. You left it. I took. I left it. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yes, I did. I left it. All right, where are they? I left them in Saks. I didn't take them to my car. Okay, wait a second. Hold on a second. Oh, because you saw him? Yes. So I left them at the door. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Um, I saw her take them. So. Give me one moment. Yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. They're Saks. Yeah. They saw it. They have it on, on their camera. No, they don't. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Go ahead. Go ahead. So they're gonna, they can go ahead and prosecute. Now you saying you left it. Yes. So if we can recover, we might be able to work something out and then you might get a trespass because you just, you know you were trying to steal it, so. No, I did not take it. I didn't I understand it. it. I understand uh -huh. it. Okay. But let me finish up here. The officer then asked for her ID. She denied having one on her. He told her she will be placed under arrest for shoplifting as the value of the product was around $500. She kept denying any wrongdoing. He kept sweating all around me. He kept running all around me. Where I didn't take anything. What is what I'm going to do? I want to go ahead and I have to do my investigation. I need to identify who you are, man. Do you have your identification? Please? I do. I don't have ID. Nothing else. So I, you are going to be placed under arrest, man. So I'm going to have to go through your purse. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you to cooperate with me so that we don't have to make a scene. Or, you got or placed under arrest for what? Shoplifting, ma'am. So over $500. I did not take anything, though. Yeah. Okay. That's going to have to be contested in court of law. You understand what I'm saying to you? I'm trying to give you respect, man, because I don't want to sit there and be that guy to jump on you and be that cop. But I didn't okay. take anything. Okay, but we're trying to work you. Have, you're telling me, make sure we're being recorded, okay, just so you understand. Yes. You're to right, so I can yes. be violated. Yes, yes. The woman was informed that the store manager saw her take the item. She tried to argue with the manager, but the officer calmly convinced her to step outside. Other officers reached the scene and asked if she had any form of identification on her. I've explained to you being charged with shoplifting. For what? I didn't take anything. Okay, well, I lost the venture manager saying that you did. Who? What lost the venture manager? Right there, ma'am. You saw me take something. Yeah, everyone in the store saw you take it. Saw me take it. Ma'am, okay, yes. we're not, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to give you... I'm he didn't see me take anything. Okay. He did not see me take anything. He's lying. So none of it? Nothing. No ID? No, I don't care. I got clean stuff with my name on it, though. Okay. But he didn't see me I don't want to go through your purse, because let, let's step out here. Oh, and we'll do God. this outside, okay? <laughs> Okay. But I didn't take anything. Okay. Do you want me to find you the ID in the phone? Yes, ma'am, please. You said you have it on your phone? Yeah. That'd be great. Email. Are you finding it? Yeah, I'm trying to find it in my email. So here's my name. 
let's see your driver's license. That can be anybody. I mean, I believe you, but that can be anybody. Uh, this is my phone. No, I know, but you can be getting an email from anybody. <laughs> if you have it on, wouldn't it be under your pictures? Listen, listen, this, do this. Meanwhile, another officer took a statement about the theft from the store manager. The officer asked if the manager wanted to prosecute her. He said he did want to prosecute. The cop told the woman about the manager's wishes, and she again claimed that she did not take them. Can you explain for me to get some of the truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Fantastic. Tell me what happened, sir. Okay, so I was sitting in women's shoes talking to another associate. I saw her walk in through our men's door, right? She's walking through, uh, passing through jewelry, eyeballs me the whole way. I already knew something was up. I saw her over at our pre counter, look to my left, she's standing there staring right at me again. So I walked around handbags because I was going to approach her from the other side. And then by that time, she was, she was already gone. So, and then all the ladies in cosmetics are like, oh, they just took two bottles. And then on the way out, she asked one of our other associates for a bag and she wouldn't give her one. So she popped an attitude with the associate and then just walked out of the store. And then they all started calling me, oh, she took a bottle. I was like, yeah, I know exactly who it is. I was just watching her. Mm -hmm. And then so, and then that's when I called uh, my security to see if they could possibly locate her. So you got, you got two, is it the $500 bottle or two, 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 two $500 bottles. So and more of stuff. He came. And you wish to prosecute? Hmm? You wish to prosecute? I mean, yeah, if we, if we find the merchandise and everything, sure. If you ever... Hank Tapp Maria, your name again? David. David, Hank Tapp Maria. Uh, no problem. Um, prosecute me? Yes, ma'am. Why? For the theft. The security has it. They say you took two bottles of Creed Aventus. Uh-huh. So what we can do is, he said, if we don't get it back, they're going to prosecute because they got the footage. I, it's in the store. Where in the store? Mr. I just left it on the counter. I didn't take it. I did not take it. I did not take it. I left it. He was standing right there. I didn't take mm. it. The officer again talked to the manager and asked for the security footage. He also asked him to look for the perfume around the shop as the woman kept claiming that she left the bottles inside the store. The officer then told the woman that manager would look for the bottles some more. That footage was okay. I got nothing. Okay, for sure. I mean, we can go back. I'll pull up the footage. That's fine. I have a camera pointing right at the creep desk, so. And there's no way she would have walked out and put it somewhere because she said she saw it. And you said you said well, she would make an eye contact. Well, so, every every other associate in cosmetics said that she walked out. So, I mean, she could have put it down anywhere, you know. She could have tossed it in a bush, like one of these fake bushes outside. You never know. Or in Victoria's Secret. But it's it's not tagged. Yeah. Huh? It's, it's not it's not tagged, so it wouldn't have set off the alarm. Oh right? no, no, <laughs> they're just boxes. Okay. And uh, I don't think we have any magnetic uh, sensors on them. So, so yeah. do you know which two? So if you go back there, you'll know oh, yeah, what yeah. you know which two it is. Let's, yeah. let's go find. Out. I'm gonna be right here, Dave. Okay. Find out and come sure. right back. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. I'm gonna have a look for me, Miss Moore. Okay. Cause I, I don't want to jam you up anymore. Yeah, you. I, I stay jammed up and I learn my lessons. <laughs> when I see stuff like that, I don't do anything. Hardest times are, you know, but when I saw him, I didn't do anything. Yeah, but you came in there with, looking to do some, some foolish no, stuff. No, 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 You know better than that. Yes, I think and I... The manager came back with the security footage and showed it to the officer. He then informed the woman that he did believe that she stole the perfume. He also added that the saw her associate who was distracting the clocks. And then I think she was trying to look for a little bag or something to put it in. And you see she walked away with the little black bag. Okay, Ms. Moore, I just saw the video. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I do believe that it was taken. So I'll give you- took it? Yes. So I'm gonna give you the opportunity to, and I don't know where your friends went, the ones that were distracting the, the clerk. Did you hand it off to them? I didn't even have no friends with me. Okay. No, I did not. Okay, that's fine. It looked like there were some people that were trying to distract, but, but that's okay. But that's okay because at the end of the day, you and I are talking and this is where we are right now. The manager showed the video to the woman. She started to argue with the manager. The officers tried to handcuff her. She suddenly became combative. She started to resist the officers. And what is it, one bottle or two? Uh, well, from what they said, two. But so five hundred dollars a piece? What they're, the they're, hell? They're I did not take. A piece. So it's a thousand dollars. Let me see. No problem, I will. Okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. 
You don't need to see the rest of you with there. No, I want to see me take it out the door. See me take it out the door. Well, that's another camera, ma'am. No, no, because I didn't take it out the door. He right, can't so then, show so you then that. Where is it? Tell me where it is. I didn't take it out. So then where'd you put it? I way? did not take it out. Yeah, I'm not trying to he's trying it. to arrest me for something I did no, not take he's out. Not. I am. I didn't take it. Yeah, tell me where the merchandise is then. I left it in the where? store. Where? Right there where you saw it at. Because it's not there. <laughs> I did not take it out of the store. He's trying to, he's telling you a lie. Why would I lie? No, he's Ms. Moore, lying. Don't, I did don't not. Fight, Ms. Moore, he's don't lying. Fight. Do not fight, Ms. Moore. He's lying, though. Ms. Moore. He's lying. You're okay. not living, listening to me. He's I lying. Listen to you. You're under arrest. Well, can you please tell him where the stuff is? Give me the I, other did, hand. I did not if take I it out of the store. Ms. Moore, don't do that. I did not take it. Don't do it. Ms. I did not take it out of the store. Stop. I didn't take it. I didn't take it. Despite her resistance, the officers handcuffed her. An officer tried to explain the situation to her, but she kept denying stealing anything. The woman was then escorted out of the mall and to a police vehicle. charged with shoplifting and resisting arrest. While the woman kept denying she stole anything till the end, our next individual is not so fortunate, as evidence of her theft was recorded meticulously by her employer. But before that, 
Let's see what happens when someone tries to exploit the generosity of an officer. The next incident revolves around a woman. On May 4th, 2023, in St. Cloud, Florida, dispatched to Walmart in reference to a retail theft, a woman had been observed pretending to pay for items in the self-checkout lane. She then passed all points of sale. As she was attempting to exit through the general merchandise entrance, Walmart's asset protection officer stopped her and escorted her back to the asset protection office. The officer met with the woman in the asset protection officer. She was already weeping in the office. An employee told the officers what she did. They promptly handcuffed her. Stand up, I need you to stand up. Here, see the tablet, put it down. Right, come on, stand up and turn, turn around. Put your hands behind your back. She was then escorted out of the Walmart and towards a police cruiser. The woman requested a cigarette and the officers advised her to get inside the vehicle first. She started to weep again. Stay right here, do not move. Can I get a cigarette? They said I could have a cigarette. Once we're done, once we're done, yeah. Once we're doing what we have to do, I'll let, we'll let you get a cigarette. Come well, on. Can I get my other hearing aid for it, please? Let me find it, and then I'll I'll get it for you. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. I think I'm not allowed to pee first. Thing. It'll be so bad. Ma'am. Please. please sit in. No, but I, have to I understand. It's just delaying the inevitable. <laughs> Please. Come on, the, the seat is up. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get up, man. You gotta get up. I know, I am. I'm okay. Not. Come on. There you go. Come on. Sit. Sit the right way. You're fine. You're fine. Watch her. After searching her belongings and finding no illegal objects, the officer decided to give her a cigarette. The woman kept saying that she should not have done it. The officer also gave her a drink. Smoke a cigarette, so we're gonna let you out. Need you to just listen to whatever we say, though. Okay. All right, okay. come on. Sober, I've been th two days sober. I shouldn't have done it. I just I should have. That's fine. You're gonna keep your shoes off for now. You're fine right now. You're good. Yeah. Okay. I just want to call. Ah. Okay. I shouldn't have done it. Ma'am, don't move from right there. When she was done smoking, the officer took the cigarette and disposed it. While his back was turned, the woman took off on foot. The officer promptly gave chase and captured her immediately. She was again escorted to the police cruiser and placed inside it. They then secured her inside the vehicle with the seatbelt. On their way to the jail, she kept pleading with the officer. That's another charge now. Get in. Get in. Step up. Walk hard. Sit back. Well, you just made it 10 times worse. Why did you think running was going to be smart? 
I don't want to lose everything. I'm a good girl, please. <laughs> I just got my okay. Oh, I'll pay for everything. Why, why can't I pay for everything and, and be done with it? We'll debrief and talk about it all later. Yeah. Oh, I already know. Yeah. What it is. Right? Yeah. So I know what's what's coming out of it. It's not something we're just gonna be like, yeah, I'm not talking. Right. No, yeah. The woman was charged with petty theft and resisting without violence. She was sentenced to six months in probation. As mentioned before, now we will see how our next individual was caught and why she resorted to stealing. You guys can't open it? No, we are. No. We, we're asking you, what money came from the store? Just the hundred. Just the hundred, not the ten inside here. Yeah. Our last incident revolves around a woman. On June 7th, 2023, in Broward County, Florida, the sheriff's office received a call regarding a theft involving an employee at a nearby Walmart. Upon arrival, the officers were greeted by two undercover employees who were conducting an internal investigation. They had suspicions about a cashier who was reportedly stealing $1,000 per day from her register. The officer's investigation revealed that the situation was more significant than initially thought. Officers arrived at the scene and two employees met with them. They explained the situation to the cops. One of the employees told the officers that a large amount of money was going missing from their register every day. We need your help, man. We got a, we had a stain. We had somebody that stole over five thousand dollars. Okay. Do so, you guys have? Yeah. Today they have? Yeah, it's right here, right now. It's an action. Oh. Yes, yeah, it's happening right now. So uh, we're doing the exit interview, and um, so the person is sitting down right now. In the in the office. In the yeah. office. Okay. Waiting. Um, okay. And so cameras already been rolled. Evidence has already been collected. Okay. All right. All right. So it, it started. Yes. Yeah, so. Why are you doing? Just take her, take, take him to Jennifer. Okay. All right. you, you guys want to press charges though? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm waiting for my partner to come and then we'll. Oh, okay. Just all right. Cool. Yeah. I had. Uh, I'm trying to have him stalled a little bit longer. Just yeah. Yeah. I had. Um, I had. Uh, I called Farino. Okay. Farino. So. Okay. So. So originally on 519, it started with her stealing. She hasn't even been here two months. So you know, obviously, when a person starts stealing, so that was the first sign. Yeah. So. First thing is shoplifting, not paying for stuff, $200. And then over the past several weeks, our register has been missing, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 1,800. So when they, when people get newly hired, they're allowed access to just work as cashiers? Not normally. They normally, you know, they, they do something else. They're not handling so much cash. And for whatever reason, I guess, you know, people thought she was trustworthy and that we could trust her and she was, you know, allowed to handle a lot of cash. The officers are then led to the back of the Walmart. The officers handcuffed her and escorted her out of the store. Another officer collected all the evidence the store had on her. And my boss's name is Jennifer. I'm sorry, how are you? Excuse me, Kirby, just stand up for me. Put your hands on your back. Any weapons are you going? We can go back in. Um, I don't want. And we will try to avoid what No, no, we have to come to the car safe. I don't want to be chasing this. I mean, is there a, is there a back? There's a back. Okay. You want to put your car on back? Yeah, hold it. you guys have um, everything, all the information? Do you have the receipts? I have all the information. It was, well, it wasn't receipts, really. It was cash. Oh, it was cash. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I think he mentioned something about an affidavit. Okay, I'll go ahead and grab the affidavit. Okay. Because you guys just, because I don't know I anything about the case. I have 13 different stores, so I... Gotcha. You guys are the first ones that have asked for that from Pompano. So gotcha. if you, if it's something that you guys always require, I can have them save it. And okay, perfect. We'll do that going forward. How much, how much cash is it? Um, around 7,000. So I have 5,000 of it documented, but she okay. admitted to the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and document that to them. Okay. And I can send that to you guys. Gotcha, gotcha. But she has 
the cash here somewhere. She said it's at she the smoke shop. She said she has it somewhere, yeah, in the smoke shop. So we're going to know what? She took 1500 today, so it's, she said it's by the smoke shop. So I don't know if it's by the smoke shop over there. Well, why don't we ask her before we do? Yeah, we'll try to do the Yeah. Um, Swanson sent out. You want to help us? No, I got okay. it. Okay. It's easy. Yeah, park. I'll, I'll show you everything they did. Everything's yeah, easy. Yeah, okay, perfect. Easy PC and... Sounds good. Uh, so let's grab her. I know. And she'll it's walk. It's in the parking lot. It's in park another lot. store. Yeah, the smoke shop's at oh, 12 or 1239 or something like that. She stashed it there. I uh, couldn't. Let's just... She has to know somebody there. That would be my guess. The officers then located the money she stole. They then asked her to identify the money that was taken from the store register. One of the officers then proceeded to count the stolen money. They discovered that she stole $4,000 on that day. So question is, uh, hey, is Siya gonna do the PC the or? Shop, is Siya gonna do the PC or? Just to have her tell. You guys can't open it? No, we are, no. We, we're asking you. What money came from the store? Just the hundred. Just the hundred, not the tens inside no. here? How, how much is there? The manager told the officers that she might have stolen even more from the store. The officers then documented her information. She was then transported to the police station. Yeah, it's it's, um, it's so, 7,000 total that I found that she might have took more. Yeah. Because when we did the audit, it was only 1,500. When we did the audit, it was only 1,500. Well, so she, she must have took more. more. So we'll ask her. You got a partner? Ma'am, is your ID in your wallet? No ID. You don't have an ID? No. Alright, ma'am, what's your first name? Tell me spelling S A A. What's your last name? Sorry, say that again. How do you spell that? B Y S S E I. Alright, just hang tight, okay. When do, when do I go down to the station? We're going to go to the station in probably five minutes. The woman was interrogated at the station. During interrogation, she mentioned that she was stealing to get out of debt. According to her, she was in credit card debt. She also told the officer how she started stealing. So... You do know you worked for a really big corporation, right? Is there a reason why you were like, oh, they're so big, they won't know? Is that kind of the thought process? I don't know. Honestly, I'm just trying to give them, like, back the money. I, I, can't, I can barely hear you. I said, I don't know, honestly. I was really just trying to get my life back in order. Yeah? <laughs> just trying to yeah. make it quicker than I was supposed to. The officer then inquired about the amount of the money she would steal. She confessed to stealing around $10,000 from the store. She also said that she was in debt with a cell phone company. Um, then there was approximately, I think it was like, let's say five, four, four or 5,000 that was on a bundle today. That they took, yeah, that's and theirs. That bundle. Is that more or less the size of bundles you would take? Yeah, that'd be less. Today was a lot, but it's less, yeah. It's less? It's less. So today was less? No, today wasn't less. Today was more. Oh, okay. Today was usually more. Less, yeah. you usually take less. Okay. Um, <coughs> today was, unfortunately, the day that... Which is crazy, because tomorrow it was going to be the day I will go get my license to go to the bank and then pay off that five grand. What did you end up doing with the other, uh, well, if I do the math, like every other week, if you do four or five, so over the course of the month of May, that puts you at like 10 grand. Mm -hmm. Um. So did, what did you do with that then? I also have T-Mobile. I was paying, I had a job, remember I quit because I left my parents' house. Uh -huh. So I was in debt with T-Mobile too, uh -huh. that was $3,000. 
and I started to tear off one by one. I got me a new phone, but it's not with them. It's with Boost Mobile. Uh, so I started doing little payments with T-Mobile. That's when I was going to go to the bank and finish that off. The woman was charged with grand theft of more than $10,000. For more true crime stories, hit the subscribe button.